This is an advanced type of video intercom system which comes with remote view ability whereby a press of the door button sends you a live video view of who is at your door on your mobile phone. And so in this video, I will show you how to set up this system, including the remote viewing configuration for a mobile phone. Here are the accessories for the connection and setup of the system. At the back of the indoor unit are the various connection ports and also a reference here that would guide us in our connection. We'll start with power connection and by the reference, power will be plugged into this socket at the top right corner here. So with my power adapter, I'll plug this end into this socket here. When we are done with all connections, we'll plug the head into a power socket. What we'll be connecting next is the door button. When you look at the connection ports here, you will realize that this machine has provision for two door buttons, door 1 and door 2. But I will be connecting into only door 1 since we have only one door button for now. So we'll be using this provided cable with socket which will plug into door 1. And this end is what will connect to the door button. When you look at the colors here, we have yellow, we have black, we have red, and we have white. And on the door button too, we can get the yellow, the black, the red, and then the white. So what we'll be doing is that we'll be matching and joining cables of the same colors together. But for the sake of distance, you may be required to use a longer cable to put in between the two units. But the important point to note is that all the cables must match. So what I will do here is that I will connect yellow to yellow, twist them together, and insulate them. We'll do for black as well. Insulate it too. Black is also done. We will do for white. Insulate it. The next is the red. Insulate it also. This is what we have so far. The colors have been matched red to red, white to white, black to black and then yellow to yellow. Now we are left with these four wires. When you refer to the manual for this device, when you refer to this page that shows the connections, what you see here is the outdoor unit with its cables here, illustrating red, 
white, black and yellow cables connected to the indoor monitor just as we have done already. So for the rest of the cables which are blue, green, the brown as well as orange, as you can see illustrated here, they are meant for connecting a door lock and then a push button if you so wish. But in the absence of a door lock, you can just use this device just for video intercom purposes only. So we can safely say that this is a complete connection to be used as a video intercom. But please note that there is provision for connecting two CCTV cameras also here. There is a second door lock provision also here, which means another device like this can be placed at another door and connected to the same indoor unit. Let's go ahead now and test the system. So I'll plug the power adapter and turn over the devices. You can see the system is ready for setup. You will have to select your language. Device ID will leave it at 1. So we'll go to Nest. What we have here are parameters of each of the four video inputs that come into the indoor unit. So we'll go to Nest again. And that brings us to the network settings page. But we'll come back to the network settings when we are doing the remote view configuration for a phone. So we'll skip these settings for now. So we'll click on the home button. Now that the system is ready, let's check video from door 1 on this monitor. So just tap on door 1 here. And that shows you a live video being captured by the outdoor units we connected. So anytime someone comes to press the push button on the outdoor unit, the unit would both ring and also display videos being captured by the outdoor unit. And in this case, it is advised to position the unit at a level that will capture the face of whoever presses the push button on the outdoor unit. So let's quickly look at the phone configuration. A first requirement is that there is need for a wireless internet of which I will provide the internet using my internet router here. So let's quickly do the network settings for the indoor unit. So we'll tap on settings. We'll come down to select network right here. At this point, we'll change the network pairing mode to AP mode, which refers to access point mode. We'll confirm it here. We need to restart the device to have it take effect. So we'll agree to restart. The machine is gone off and we'll come back. So we'll come onto the phone we wish to connect now. You will have to download and install the Tuya app. When you are done setting up the app, this is how the interface looks. So we'll have to go to add device, we'll continue, you will have to scroll up and select camera and lock. So we'll come to choose doorbell camera. At this point, we'll have to tap the top here and select Wi-Fi mode. Choose next step. Tap on Nest. The system has discovered my Wi-Fi network. So I'll input the Wi-Fi password in order to allow internet access into the video intercom system. Choose Nest. Go to Connect. The phone has discovered the access point of the video intercom which is listed here. So select it. It is connecting. 
so the phone is now connected to the access point of the video intercom so we'll go back from here so it is scanning now the device is now added successfully so we will tap on done and then you can see video from the outdoor units now now that that is done whenever this button is pressed you will get an alert that the doorbell has been pressed when you tap the notification it takes you to live videos from the outdoor unit if you are not logged on to the app and the bell is pressed you will see the alert in the form of a phone call when you accept the call that takes you to a live video of who is standing in front of your camera you can speak to the person in the video live from wherever you are receiving the call from as if you were right at home it's been a pleasure coming your way again please don't forget to subscribe to this channel but let me hear from you if you have comments and questions about this video thank you so much for watching see you in the next video